ladies. It's it's Tara Hitchcock. Um, I'm so excited that Harkins Theaters viewers get to see your love of Tom Brady play out on the big screen. So thank you. No, thank you. I don't know if you can tell I'm, I'm in Arizona. At my character is so when I see you. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's well, totally. Do you know totally. how often, Jane, I get told I look like you a lot. So I take that as such a huge compliment. Hey. Well, thank you. Also, I'm Julia glad. Roberts. Julia yeah. Roberts, too. Roll right. camera. Three, two, one. There are so many funny moments in this. I want to ask you all about a few of them. One, have you ever snuck into a party? Because in this film, we won't give away everything, but Billy Porter's character has to basically sneak you in. Follow me. Have you all ever done that? Uh-oh. The, uh -oh. the answer is brief. No. Okay. <laughs> Next. Um, no. <laughs> what was Have you, have you ever snuck into a party? party? Oh, anything. no, but I used to get sneak in. I'd sneak into hotels and, and get autographs. Oh, that's interesting. Like from the people who would be there for the Michigan State You're Fair. You're one of those. Yeah. Wow. Oh, but oh. most of you do it to impress your peers. You go back <laughs> to school the next day, you say, look, I got Tony Curtis's autograph. Wow. And that impressed your peers? I crashed well, they Barbara Walters' wedding to Merv Adelson. Oh. No. At Aaron Spelling's house. I did. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. No, well, I does that mean you it. weren't invited? That's right. I didn't have any <laughs> access. Why did you crash it? Wait, I'm curious. Why did you crash it? Because I thought I should be there. Oh, right. <laughs> of course. I, was, I never got my friend. Who married him? It was my who friend. Who would he marry? No, it was Merv Adelson and Barbara Walters' wedding. Oh, she married Merv Adelson? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you had a lot more questions you wanted to ask, but well, I'm sure you're going to get a man. We can do a whole 10 minutes on this. <laughs> Trust me, I'd love 10 minutes with the four of you, because I, I think I deserve an award for trying to pull this off in five. But I... No. I'll go on to one, one of the other great moments, obviously, is the fact, Lily, you, you spend a lot of money on these tickets to, to do something really special with your friends. And I'm a big believer in collecting memories, not things. So I have splurged a few times myself on a fun event that I know was worth it. For each of you, Jane, I'll start with you and go down the line again. Can I get personal? What's the most you've ever spent on an experience, an event, a, a football or concert or anything? This Christmas, I know you were. What about <laughs> what about shoes? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. <laughs> shoes counts. Christmas, so Jane, tell that no, story. I just took nine members of my family to an extremely expensive place, and I didn't know when I booked it all how expensive it would be. And when I got to when it ended and I went to pay the bill, my knees buckled. <laughs> so my <laughs> knees still give way. I see. I, <laughs> was uh, it worth it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No. Good. Yeah. There you go. Lily? Oh gosh, I well, I I uh I spent uh, about you know four dollars and fifty cents on a magic trick. And I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna impress Mrs. And it was last week. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna impress Mrs. Rupert, a woman who is a botanist in our apartment house. And I she didn't know I did magic. And so I said, when I come, when Mr. Rupert's off tomorrow night, I'm going to come. I'm going to bring this bo big box of licorice that says black magic on it. And I'm going to do my magic act. And she hit the ceiling. She was teaching me earlier than that about how to be a lady and, <laughs> and how, to, uh, how to run a big house, you know. Anyway, that and she said, if you're not careful, you're going to be in show business. The story deserves a lot more embellishment. <laughs> My time. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to talk really quick because I think your five minutes is up. So I'm going to say this, that I spent a whole lot of money on my seventh birthday, taking my whole family to this fabulous resort in Montana, except they all fought all the time with each other and with me and everything. It was a disaster, but I spent a lot of money and I'm not even going to tell you because for fear that somehow it will get to them because they will be very upset that they were so sickening. They were awful. They, they owe you a them. refund, Sally Field. Your family. <laughs> My family does. It's <laughs> memories. To hear that story. Why? Well, I'm glad to know that your children argue with each other and are terrible and sometimes. Of course, to me. Oh, they were terrible. Oh, I'm so Some glad. of them were terrible with me. Others of them Some tried to make my family that did that. No. You know what? Well, was perfect. You know what? Oh, God, no. You, you should see her with her dog. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I watch her with her dog and I think, I was never that good with my kids. Oh, neither was I. <laughs> 
Rita, I'm not leaving without your answer. Yeah, I'm just so depressed now. I don't want to hear. I don't want to <laughs> talk about it. It was a pair of shoes and I couldn't afford it. Oh, oh and I spent no. I spent 500 bucks. That was a lot of money. It's still there, a lot of money. Wasn't those boots, was it? No, but you're trying to be cute. Oh, wow. Those are gorge. Are these good or what? Listen, you guys, you I, as you may know, the Super Bowl is in Arizona in just a few weeks. You all are welcome because I would love more than five minutes with you, although I am grateful for the time. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Well, dance moves, you ladies know. A twist. A jerk. Let's do it. Hey, Billy, I'm Tara Hitchcock. If there's anyone worthy of a big screen, it's you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they don't call me Goo Goo for nothing. I, I know that you worked with four icons in this. Who actually is the best dancer out of the four? You know, y'all always want to talk about competition. Y'all always want to pit. That's always a question about pitting who's better, who's, I'm not going to do that. I'm not falling okay. into that trap. But what I will say <laughs> is that everybody, all four of the ladies were so game. Everything was a yes. Everything was a celebration. Everything was about them being present and so giving and so fun and so celebratory. And it was a really, really fun day. Were there, was there anyone that you were particularly a little more nervous than the others to meet or were they all, I mean, again, they're all just phenomenal. No, the, you know, they're all goats and you know, they're the goats and as a artist, you know, a trained artist, I went to drama school, all four of them are uh, artists who I've looked up to for decades. You know, their work as actors and as actresses, also the philanthropy, you know, the activism, like the humanity, all of it are things that I have used to model my own journey. Um, and so this was like, top three. You know, I, I always say I want to be like all of them when I grow up. I just got done interviewing them. I'm going to ask you the same two questions I asked them. The first one is the fact that your character basically has to sneak them in to the big game. And I'm wondering, has Billy Porter ever snuck into a party? Oh, not really. Yeah. Because I never really had to sneak into the party. I was invited. <laughs> I was the fun one that was invited. Yep. And if I wasn't invited, I just didn't go. And then the second question is, I love the fact I'm a big believer in collecting memories, not things. Can I get personal and ask you, what's the most you've spent on an experience or maybe something that was worth every cent? You kind of forked over a little bit more than you normally would for a concert or an event or, or, or something. Whitney Houston. Ah, uh, yep. I saw Whitney Houston yep. at Radio City. I also, I also saw Barbra Streisand. That's what I'll say. The first retirement tour, mm -hmm. you know, she did about six or seven of them, but the first <laughs> retirement tour, um, I, did, I did spend a lot of money on concert tickets on the floor. Oh. I did spend a lot of money on that. She's like the Tom Brady of singers with all the retirements. So we'll see. If, <laughs> you know, Tom Brady talks about what football, the game of football has taught him. What has the game of football taught Kyle? Uh, I, think, I think the key thing with it, truly, I think the key thing that football teaches you is that failure is part of life and that, and that it happens. The, the amazing thing about football is they start every game saying, we have to win this at all costs. And sometimes you don't, you know what I mean? And then you go back and you work out and you adjust and you go into the next game with the exact same mentality. And I think that sort of mentality, and it's the thing that Tom Brady does so well is, you know, he takes his losses and he keeps going. And that's really, I think, the truth um, that sports teaches you. And it's also something that our four actresses have experienced the same thing. They have taken their losses and they've kept going and they've gotten to a place where they're now legends because of that persistence. There's Tom. Oh, <gasps> what a beautiful man. So well hydrated. How do you direct Jane Fonda, Sally Field, Rita Moreno, and Lily Tomlin? I mean, yeah, do you I mean, say anything to them? 
Um, yeah, I mean, the crazy thing is that they're, they're so good at their job, they're such professionals, that they show up ready to work. And a lot of that work goes on ahead of time. A lot of it happens in conversations where we're talking about the character, unpacking it, and sort of they're delving in and taking that character and sort of adding the layers that they do with performance that are so good. Um, so a lot of it happens ahead of that, you know, ahead of starting that shot and calling action. Um, but they're also really great at wanting to explore things and explore performances. And when you have four dynamos like that together, when one shifts, the others organically respond. And it's really a joy to sort of sit in a playground with them and say, great, Jane, you know, go for it. Take it this direction and watch the other women organically just immediately respond in character and it's sort of shift the dynamic of the scenes. So really it was a, a joy to... Um, to be able to be there with them, you know, sort of playing around in that sandbox. This is a spicy wings contest. Bring the pain. I, I know that Sally gets the moment. I'm a big fan of that YouTube show, Hot Ones, yes, so I love like the it. spicy wings. <laughs> of course. In, in, in your opinion, out of the four ladies, who actually do you think would survive the longest in a spicy wings contest? I mean, I think Sally would probably take it. I mean, I think she, I think she'd be the one to to take that bull by the horns and go forward with it. I, I'm hoping that Sally gets to do a Hot Ones uh, interview. That would be amazing to let her loose on that. Clearly she's eaten incredibly spicy food before because she knew exactly she knew exactly how to, how to uh, behave in that moment. Let's go! Oh my God, that's Tom Brady!